January is the start of a new year, and it also kicks off a bunch of big video game news. This month was packed with game announcements, crazy mods, and a few sad goodbyes. You're here to see the best of it, so let's get to it. These are the top 10 stories of January. Number 10, The Apocalypse Now Video Game. I love the smell of Kickstarter in the morning, and that's why I have to bring up this very unexpected announcement. Legendary director Francis Ford Coppola is teaming up with the games industry to make a video game adaptation of Apocalypse Now. What's more, it's going to be a survival horror RPG. Just let that sink in for a second. The project is in its very early days, but we could be only a few short years away from taking down Colonel Kurtz ourselves. Number 9, GTA 4 in GTA 5. Speaking of the classics, let's talk about Grand Theft Auto. If GTA 5's Los Santos just wasn't big enough for you, then why not add GTA 4's Liberty City to the map? That's exactly what Mod Team Open 4 is working on. You will have to own both games on PC, but doing so will drop Liberty City right across the sea from Los Santos. Open 4 aims to release the mod this spring. Number 8, Resident Evil in First Person. Open 4 aren't the only modders out there making cool stuff. In celebration of Resident Evil 7's release, modder Rod Lima is working on his own first person experience. He took assets from Resident Evil Remake and Umbrella Chronicles to build his own first person demo in the Unreal Engine. There's currently no word on whether this will ever be a playable thing, since Rod has plenty of scripting and animation to tweak. In the meantime, you can get your zombie fix from Reviving Resident Evil, RGS Studios documentary on the series reemergence. Number 7, Dark Souls 3's final expansion. The Dark Souls saga is finally coming to a close, and here to take us out is the final expansion, The Ringed City. This DLC will pack in the usual new bosses, weapons, armor, and magic, but the crazy part is in the official description, which says this expansion is set, quote, at the close of the Age of Fire, as the world ends and all lands converge upon themselves. If you follow the Dark Souls lore, you know exactly why that's so significant. In any case, The Ring City will be out on all platforms on March 28th. Number 6, Square Enix's Avengers Project. Dark Souls may be ending, but another series is just beginning. Square Enix has announced a partnership with Marvel to develop Avengers games, the first of which is coming from the Tomb Raider team at Crystal Dynamics and the Deus Ex team at Eidos Montreal. It'll be a completely original story featuring everyone's favorite box office superheroes. All we've seen so far is a little teaser trailer, but this is going to be an ongoing project with multiple titles, and E3 seems like a good place to keep an eye out. Number 5, Xbox One Changes Microsoft is always experimenting with the Xbox One experience, but there are some big changes coming soon. We just got a look at the new home screen, which simplifies the whole layout and makes it easier to access things like recent games and video clips. The update also removes Xbox One's Snap feature. According to engineering lead Mike Ibarra, this was done to quote, improve multitasking, reduce memory use, improve overall speed, and free up resources going forward for bigger things. The changes will be live for everyone sometime this spring, and then you'll have to actually play games instead of binge watching House of Cards in the corner. Number 4, Mass Effect Andromeda's release date. We're only a few months out from Andromeda, which was finally confirmed to launch on March 21st in North America, March 23rd in Europe. BioWare had plenty more information to share since the announcement, like HDR support, a 10-hour trial for EA and Origin Access members, and no season pass. We've also seen a bunch of new trailers, which have shown off the new Tempest ship and a few of our future squad mates. We'll be able to launch very soon, Pathfinder. Number 3, the Halo Megabloks game. Speaking of space games, did you know there was a Halo Megabloks game in the works? It was cancelled after only 10 months of development, but footage of the prototype has been released to the public for us to see what could have been. It was planned to be a Halo game for a younger audience, which seems like a no-brainer given the popularity of the franchise. But I guess your kids can always play with the Halo Megabloks toy sets instead. Number 2, Scalebound Cancelled Halo Megabloks wasn't the only cancellation of the month, or the only cancelled Xbox game for that matter. 
After a day full of rumors, Microsoft revealed that Platinum Games Scalebound had been axed. We don't know why the project was canned, but director Hideki Kamiya was quick to apologize for the situation and deny that he was taking any time off for mental health reasons. It's a shame we won't get to fight a bunch of dragons on our Xbox Ones this year, but there are plenty of other games in the works for 2017. Number 1. All the Nintendo Switch Details And now it's time to talk about Nintendo. There's almost too much to fit onto this list, but I'm gonna try. Here goes. The Switch costs $300 and it comes out on March 3rd. Launch games include Zelda Breath of the Wild, 1-2 Switch, Skylanders Imaginators, I Am Setsuna, and Super Bomberman R. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 2, ARMS, and Super Mario Odyssey are all planned for this year as well. Pro controllers are selling out all over the place, so hopefully you've been able to grab one. There are tons more game announcements and release dates out there, so hop over to GameSpot for even more. I need a breather. So those were the biggest news stories of January. Seems like a pretty good start to 2017. And if you want to keep up with everything else going on this year, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, you can stay tuned to GameSpot for all the coolest videos, features, and reviews.